What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in Django. Now, if you guys were wondering what the F Django is, it's not the movie, I mean it is a movie, but in this tutorial series, I am gonna be teaching you guys about the Python web framework, Django. And if you guys don't even know what that is, it's basically a way that you can create websites using Python. Now, whenever I say create websites, I'm not talking about the front end. In other words, I'm not talking about the colors of the buttons and you know making all the font look cool and stuff like that. I'm talking about the back end of web development. In other words, working with the servers and databases and all of the fun stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be learning to do that with Python. So just think of it like PHP if you guys are still kind of fuzzy on it, but cooler. So, sounds pretty cool. How the heck do we actually download this, set it up, and install it on our computer? Well, what we need to do is pop open a command line. So, if you're using Linux or Mac, just open up your terminal. If you're using Windows, then go ahead and type in PowerShell. Now, if you right click this and hit Run as Administrator, then follow along with me. Now, if you are watching this tutorial and you're on Linux or Mac, then everything I do in this on Windows is gonna be the exact same. However, the one difference that you need to do is before every command I type, type the word sudo. That's gonna give you super user privileges. And the reason that I'm not doing it on Windows is because Windows doesn't have a sudo. That's what administrator is on Windows. So again, that's why you need to open it as administrator so you have full privileges on Windows. But again, on Mac and Linux, just type sudo before everything. So again, since we're using Python to develop websites, the first thing that we need is Python. Now, by the way, you guys need to know Python before watching this uh, video series. I'm guessing you do already. But if you don't, just go ahead and uh, watch my Python series. Now, just to verify that you have it installed correctly, just go ahead and type Python minus minus version so i am using python 3.4 however if you use any version 3.5 or later you're going to be um, able to follow along with this tutorial series just fine so the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have easy install or pip set up now these are actually tools that we got whenever we just downloaded python however the reason that we need these is because what easy install and pip are are tools that allow you to download things online so the thing that we're going to be downloading is django and that's the tools that we use so if you want to verify that you have those tools then again just write easy underscore install or pip and write minus minus version so it says all right you have version 12.0.5 so i'm good to go now if you guys don't see this then I'm guessing that you do have this tool, but it's just not configured correctly. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. So go ahead and open up Windows Explorer and go to your hard drive right here. And by the way, if you just see this, um, a version number, then just skip ahead like two minutes and just never mind what I'm saying. But for those of you who don't, from your root hard drive, go ahead and click Python 3.4 or whatever version of it and go ahead and click scripts. So this is the tool right here, easy install. It's just that your computer, it doesn't know where it is, so that's why it's like, um, I don't recognize this command. So in order to tell your computer, hey, whenever I type in easy install, look here, just go ahead and right click this, and click properties, and then go ahead and copy this path. So go ahead and right click and copy. So that's the path that we need to tell our computer to look, but where do we set that? Once you have that copied, go ahead and open up this menu again, right click computer and hit properties. Now if you go to advanced system settings and environment variables, then what you can do is you can look for a variable called path. Now if you don't have this variable, then you can just go ahead and make it, but I'm guessing that most of you do. So go ahead and select it and hit edit. Now, by the way, if you guys are wondering what the heck we're doing, this is where you tell Windows to look when we type in something into the command line right here. So it already has Python set up. So this is how it knows to look in this directory for Python. However, 
if you didn't have this little line of code, then just go ahead and add a semicolon at the end and paste in that path. So again, click OK, 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 close out of there, close out of everything. Now, another thing that you're going to need to do is you're actually going to need to restart this. And that just, you know, allows um, PowerShell to get all the new uh, paths that you just updated. But again, once you restart it and do this again, then it's going to know exactly where to look. Now, again, if you were looking in your computer and you're looking here, here, and you didn't even have easy install in there, then what you can do is this. You can go ahead and go to this address right here and that's bootstrap.pypa.io I'm not even gonna read it because it's right there so this is a script that you can use to manually install easy installer so how do you actually run this well just go ahead and right click it and hit save as and then just save it as a file on your desktop and then once in you can actually save it anywhere you want but once you have it saved somewhere on your computer and you downloaded it then what you can do is you can just CD, in other words, change to your desktop by clicking CD, um, the squiggly brace on the top left of your keyboard, the tilde or whatever it's called, and then just start typing desktop, hit tab, and hit enter. So that's going to move you to your desktop. And now what you can do is this. If you just write Python, then whatever file you write after this is essentially the file that Python is going to run. So it's going to be called easy underscore setup dot py or if you saved it as a different file then just go ahead and then uh, type that file name but once you hit enter then it's going to run it manually so again let me just clear out of here so now everyone should have python and easy install installed properly so the last thing that we need to do is we actually need to install django so from here all we do is we write easy install since that should be set up properly Django so whenever you hit enter this is going to install the latest version of Django now if you're watching these tutorials in the future and maybe like Django 1.10 came out or something like that and you want to make sure that you're working with the version that I'm working with like 1.9 then what you can do is you can just specify a specific version so anytime you want to do that just write equals equals and then the version number which is 1.9 so again if you just want the latest version just write easy install Django if you want 1.9 1.9 if you want an older one like 1.8 then go ahead and do that but again I already have it installed so I'm not gonna run it however after you have it installed and after you ran that then what you can do is you can just verify that you have it installed correctly by writing this Django minus admin minus minus version and once you see this 1.9.1 or any version number after this then you're going to be able to follow along with the rest of this tutorial series just fine so again make sure that you have django installed correctly if you have any questions then just go ahead and leave a comment below i'm sure that uh you know a bunch of people are willing to help you out if not then you can ask in my forum and there's a link below this video to get there so uh yeah there you go in the next video we're going to be learning how to set up a django project